So, um, something inconvenient happened last week. At first we thought it was just a drill or maybe someone snapped and brought a gun to school. When the whole school is put on lockdown, the last thing you expect is freaking zombies. I went to school for a math quiz. That's it. I didn't sign up for an apocalypse and I really didn't sign up for being locked in a building with these jackets. Silver lining and the teacher has all been eaten and I probably don't have to worry about that history project anymore or passing class or college. How's my attitude now, Miss Freeman? Ooh, right now! It was my idea to do the confessionals. I love reality TV and it seemed like a fun way to vent our problems. Also, some people want to know our stories after we finally get us apart by zombies. I was trying not to say that part. Anyways, it's really the only thing our phones are good for now since there's no Wi-Fi. Hmm. I've never been this bored in my entire life. In order to maintain our mental health, we've had to find ways to keep busy when we're not smashing brains in. There's no more internet or Wi-Fi, but we have a bunch of books. This is in dark ages, Ashley. I refuse to read this story. Hey, now, don't be like that. We've also found a deck of cards. We've confiscated a Tamagotchi from the 90s, but it already died, and a laser pointer. So, I mean, we'll be okay. We use the laser pointers on the zombies sometimes. They chase it like a cat, and you can get them to run into a wall. We made a game where we get the zombie to stand on the X, and then we drop a disc on his head. I hate these people so much. If I have to play poker with these morons one more time, I'm going to rip them apart myself. I miss Twitter. What if Nicki Minaj died? So we had to get kind of creative with the weapons. We got bags filled with textbooks and smashing in heads, some pencils that Mackenzie made into throwing stars, and uh, scissors. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Eric, did you even try to make anything? Yeah. I'm gonna throw a chair at him. We're running out of food. The hot Cheetos are gone. I need hot Cheetos. Are you seriously complaining about hot Cheetos right now? I lost an arm, Michelle. Mm. We've been living off food from the teacher's lounge and the vending machines we broke open. And I never thought I'd say this, but I miss healthy foods. I had three bags of Funyuns for breakfast. That was my breakfast before this place ended his on the eye. Breakfast of the champions. Oh man, that's Jay Green. We were friends since like first grade. I screwed him over so many times. I kind of feel bad now. You should just confess and get it off your chest. It's not like he'll get mad anyways. I'm sorry I stole your girl, dude. Twice, four times. Ooh. And it wasn't even worth it. They weren't that cute. In third grade, I stole your favorite pencil sharpener that was shaped like a truck and blamed it on the weird kid who ate it right. Every time you ask me if you had food in your teeth, I lied. Maybe you should feel a little bad. <sighs> All right, let's drop some textbooks on. Okay, so y'all know we're here. The math building, the tech building, and the main building have all been overrun. It's just dead so. But over here, over here it's probably empty because the fences and the doors are always chained. So if we can go from here to here and get through the zombies and bust through the chains, we can also get into the school store that has food and supplies that we can live off of until we get rescued. That's never gonna happen. Yeah, that ain't coming. You know, these zombies don't even move all that fast. Everybody I can find my way through them all by myself. So Eric died yesterday. Today's the day. It's such a drama. This is my fifth take. You guys are ruining my shot. We're out of food and starving. It's sunny today, so the zombies are hiding and the campus is mostly empty. We've got to move to the gym. You guys ready? Sure. Gotta make it. 